Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy February. Can you believe we are already out of January and kind of making our way deeper and deeper into 2019? I can't believe how fast time is flying these days. Anyway, I'm coming to you today with one of my favorite types of Disney related videos to film. I actually have a Disney small shop haul today. I'm a huge fan of Disney small shops and small business owners and creative people and I have a bunch of of ears, candles, and pins. Disney related ears, candles, and pins to share with you today. I've got a couple of shops that I've featured before on my channel because I'm such a big fan and I've got a couple of shops that I've never talked about before because I just discovered them. So I'm gonna jump into the video and I hope that you find something that uh, excites you and that you like. I want to start off today with a pair of ears that I am very excited about. As you know, I have recently become a pretty big fan of Tinkerbell, and I've never owned a Tinkerbell themed pair of ears, and I thought for 2019, since she's kind of like my mascot for the year, I better find myself a cool pair of Tink ears. And I did find a pair that is absolutely gorgeous. They are like glittery, the bow actually lights up, and this is from an Etsy shop called La Bonite? La Bonite? Uh, I'll put it down below. I probably am saying it wrong because I often pronounce things incorrectly. Um, but this is my first time ordering from this shop and I had a great experience. My ears came very well packed and within the given time frame and they actually turned out stunning, I think. They were made to order and they're absolutely beautiful. So here's a close up. I love that there is like sequin and lace on the ears. They just look so delicate. It's got kind of that like woodsy fairy in the, in the uh, Neverland forest feel to them and then in the center the bow is like a beautiful white iridescent bow the bow is like huge I, I like big bows I like big bows and I cannot lie and then um, behind the bow there is actually um, a pair of wings so there's, there's like fabric wings and then there's also like wiry wiry wings that the details are just really really cool and then the coolest detail of all is actually there's a little um, switch in the back that you can flip and the ears light up it's a little hard to see because it's daytime here but that's them with the lights off and that's them all lit up. I, I cannot wait to wear these in the Disney parks in the evening, um, but I'm sure you're gonna be seeing them on several videos before that happens. They're just super, super gorgeous. So I am really excited about these ones. I am definitely gonna take them down to the parks for the uh, flower and garden festival. Like they feel kind of flower and gardeny to me, like very springy um, and pretty. And I will leave a link down below to the Etsy shop, which I think is called La Bonite, but I might be saying it wrong. Um, but the link's down below, so you'll be able to easily find it there. This is definitely not going to be the last pair of ears that I purchased from this shop. I had such a good experience and I've already spied several more designs from the website that um, I'm interested in purchasing, so hooray! All right, next I have some Wishes Candle Company candles to share with you. I've talked about Wishes Candle Company so many times on my channel because I love candles, especially in the winter, and Wishes has quickly become my favorite Disney candle company out there. And there really are some good ones. I love Walter and Rosie, I love Spireside, I love like a lot of the different candle companies, but the Wishes just kind of like, they just do it for me. And I've tried pretty much every candle in their line now, uh, but I did manage to haul four that I've never tried before and that I've never shown before. So here are the four Wishes Candle Company Disney inspired candles that um, I got this time and I cannot wait to burn them. They're really cool. The first one is inspired by The Jungle Book. It's called Life's Bare Necessities. The Bare Necessities is one of my all-time favorite Disney songs. I love that message. And um, it's green, and then there's like this beautiful like turquoise green glitter on the top. I love the glitter in these candles. And the smell of this one is extremely tropical and fruity and sweet. I think this is actually one of their best um, selling candles and I, I feel like they have to restock it quite often. But yeah, it is like, it smells like, um, I don't know, like pineapple and like maybe mango and coconut and like sweetness, <laughs> like very sweet, um, but like in a tropical kind of fruity way. It's a really, really nice fragrance. Definitely reminds me of summer and definitely reminds me of eating like sugary things. Um, so I'm looking forward to burning this one. I like burning things that smell like summer in the winter because it gives me hope that summer and spring are eventually coming and um, it was minus 25 degrees here yesterday so I need reminders that like winter will eventually end and spring and summer will come again and this is a great candle for that. 
The next candle I chose is this deep purple one called Happily Ever After. I believe this is their Valentine's Day exclusive, so I think it's actually probably only available up until Valentine's Day, so if you want to snag it, you should probably try to get it now. Anyway, um, Happily Ever After is, of course, the uh, fireworks show in the Magic Kingdom right now. On the top, you've got some beautiful purple glitter. And smelling this, I'm so glad I ordered this uh, special edition candle because this kind of fragrance is right up my alley. I think it's like blackberry and vanilla and like a musky smell. So it's fruity, but it's not overly sweet. It's like fruity and vanilla-y, but also warm smelling. It smells very romantic. Um, and I like romantic things and it's perfect for, um, for Valentine's Day. In fact, I might actually buy a backup of this candle. So I've got another one because I don't think they're gonna come back for another year. Um, but this is the Happily Ever After candle. I can already tell this is going to be like one of my top, top favorite Wishes candles. I should do a video on just like my top Wishes candle company candles. I've, I've got at least 10 favorite ones now. Um, but yeah, this one is, is awesome. Limited edition. So uh, go check out their website if you want to grab it. I really like this kind of blackberry musky smell. It's really nice. The next candle I chose is called Hooded Outlaw. It is obviously a reference to Disney's Robin Hood film, which is one of my favorite films from kind of that Dark Ages era uh, in the 70s. I love this movie so much. The glitter on the top is also a beautiful green that matches uh, the candle itself. And this is a really unique fragrance, one of the most unique I've come across in any Disney candle. It actually smells like a very wet, lush forest. It almost smells a little bit like um, like cut grass, so like really wet and green and fragrant and kind of a complex scent. I really like this. This also reminds me of spring. It kind of smells like um, like a forest in the rain or the grass after you've cut it and, and it's rained. I can't totally describe it better than that, but it's, it's beautiful and it reminds me of not winter, so this might actually be the candle uh, that I end up burning next. It just makes me feel like super springy. Um, and I like this one a lot. It was kind of not really on my radar, but I hadn't tried it yet and I'm really glad I picked it because this, this could also end up being a favorite, I think. The final candle that I picked up from Wishes this time around is from their brand new Elements collection. So this is actually not Disney themed, it's actually a collection inspired by the four elements. Um, and then the signs of the zodiac correspond to each of the four elements. So I'm actually a Scorpio, I'm a water sign, and the water candle was completely sold out. So that's next on my wish list. But I was reading um, the notes in the other candles and I thought the, the Earth one might be a really good one for me for now. So I grabbed the Earth candle. I love that it's got a beautiful wooden um, top on the jar. There's also some really pretty like light green uh, iridescent glitter. And um, apparently the earth is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus is my opposite sign, so maybe this candle will be very balancing for my, uh, my wateriness. But this is actually quite beautiful, also a complex scent. I don't know what the notes are off the top of my head. To me it smells... Um, a little bit woody, but also kind of like earthy and fresh, and it's not too strong. Like it's like a subtle, kind of grounding, calming, slightly woody, but not dry, like kind of fresh, uh, fresh and green a little bit too. I don't know how to say it. It's just a really nice candle, and I'm really curious now to try the other candles in their new Elements collection. Water will be the next one that I get because I'm Scorpio and I'm a water sign. Um, but yeah, they all looked really neat. So if you haven't checked out the uh, Elements candles on their website and you're looking for something a little bit different or you're looking for something a little bit more like woo-woo, <laughs> um, this might be fun. I like woo-woo things because I'm a yoga teacher, so this is something I would burn in the yoga studio for sure. So those are the candles I chose this time around from Wishes Candle Company. I love them all. I cannot wait to burn them. I've got a whole little like stash of, of candles that I've like started and burned through and, and need to start. And I'm kind of like planning to do a video of maybe like my top 10 Wishes Candle Company candles. Let me know in the comments down below if that's of interest to you. And by the way, if you want to try them out, I do have a discount code for Wishes Candle Company. You just write Disney Kitty, my YouTube name, at checkout and you can save 10% off your order. So uh, go check them out if you haven't yet. I love Disney candles and, um, and these ones are definitely my faves.
Next, I'd like to move on to a couple more pairs of handmade Disney ears from a new shop called Happily Ev Ear After. Get it? Ev Ear After. Um, and this shop was actually created by a dear friend of mine, someone that I met early on uh, when I first started doing YouTube. Her name is Melissa. She actually has a YouTube channel, Pixie Dust and Pins. And she's not a super frequent YouTube poster, but she has been a very prolific ear maker lately. And she recently opened up a shop. It's actually on Facebook, uh, so it's happily ever after, and I'll link it down below, of course. And I am actually wearing one of her first pairs of ears on my head today, and I love these, so let me take them off and show you how stinking cute they are. So I purchased this pair. I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day, and I loved kind of the classic look. It also goes really well with the Mickey and Minnie 90th birthday year that we're all currently celebrating for forever and ever. Um, and I love the little uh, fabric. So you've got Mickey and Minnie holding hands, and Mickey and Minnie in this like classic red car. And then in the center, there's this beautiful red metallic bow. I just love the overall look and feel of these ears. They're super lightweight, very comfortable, and on the back there are some bonus designs so you've got um, Minnie on her bicycle and Mickey Mouse leaning on a lamppost it's actually hard for me to decide if I like uh, the front or the back better because they're all so cute so I'm excited to be wearing these uh, this month for Valentine's Day I'm looking forward to finding some occasions to uh, bring these down to the parks as well and I also have, from Melissa's new ear shop, another pair of super girly Valentine's Day ears that I'm also um, pretty much in love with. Valentine's Day is weirdly one of my favorite holidays, and um, it was actually more my favorite holiday back when I was single, because I used to always get together with girlfriends, and we would bake like those pink confetti cupcakes with pink frosting, and like make little Valentines for each other. And Valentine's Day just has kind of like a soft spot in my heart, um, and, and I, I have a Valentine now, obviously my husband, and we always usually have a nice time on Valentine's Day, but I still think of Valentine's Day as kind of like Galentine's Day, and I love that I have a cool pair of Valentine's ears. Here is a quick close-up of these guys. I love the uh, little white and um, metallic pink uh, ribbon trim around the edges, and I love that the fabric with the hearts actually has like some really subtle silver glitter as well. They're just like, they're simple, but like uh, subtly detailed, and um, they have a really nice overall pink Galentine's Day style effect. And Melissa also told me that if you mention me, Disney Kitty, when you go to purchase your ears, that she would give you 10% off of your order. So that's a nice little bonus. Go check her out. Um, go like and follow her page and her Instagram, and I'll leave that stuff down below. And um, thank you so much. I love my ears, Melissa, and I will definitely be making another purchase in the likely very near future. So hi, girl, and congrats on opening your shop, and, and I'm loving these. Next up, I would like to show you some really cool Disney fantasy pins that I ordered from a small small shop that I had um, never heard of before. The shop is called Alicia's Wonderland, and apparently she's got quite a following, so I'm late to the party. She has um, fantasy pins that she's designed herself, as well as other things, I think like jewelry and like little accessories and maybe some apparel. Um, so it's like a whole website, it's really cool. But she had some awesome looking fantasy pins that caught my eye, and uh, toward the end of 2018, or maybe it was the beginning of this year, she was having a pretty big sale, and so I just kind of went ahead and bought a few and um, when you see them um, you'll be like okay I see why you wanted these because um, if you've heard me talk about this before I have this weird obsession and I don't think I'm the only person that has this obsession but I have this weird obsession with the Disneyland D like the the Disneyland font the big letter D that is always on like all their, their logos and stuff I just love the Disneyland D I think it's such a cool looking letter and I just it's iconic and I just I love a I love a nice Disney D, what can I say? Um, so I went on her website and she's got a, a wide variety of different pin designs, but one of her signatures is that she does these Disneyland D fantasy pins themed to various characters and movies and attractions, and they're just super cool. So I bought one, two, three, four, five, six. I bought six of them, and I'm going to show them to you right now. So this first one I was able to get very much on sale after the holidays, and this is actually a Mickey and Minnie gingerbread themed Disneyland-y. I think it's gorgeous. It's got gold glitter on it. You can see the Mickey and Minnie gingerbread characters down here, and then there's all kinds of gingerbread treats along the sides of the D 
see and then on the top you've got some gingerbread frosting and it's got its own themed backer card that comes with it which makes it um, even more collectible in my opinion. I'm saving this obviously for the holidays 2019. I just thought it was a gorgeous pin. That gold glitter just got me. The next pin I picked out is themed after my favorite Disney villain, the Evil Queen from Snow White. And you can see that each of the Ds has like a different, like a fully different design. So they're not like cookie cutter at all. This one actually has the poisoned apple and cauldron on it, the magic mirrors on there. Um, it says just one bite. At the top, you've got uh, the Wicked Queen's crown with gold glitter embellishments. Love the colors. You've got the, uh, the box for the heart. And then the quote, who is the fairest of them all on this side. Just such a well detailed pin. I cannot believe she fits all that detail onto one pin. And then again, you've got another super awesome custom backer card. Next up, we have a Haunted Mansion themed Disneyland D. It says, beware of hitchhiking ghosts. And you've got like the, uh, the kind of the gates of the mansion. And then out front, you've got the three hitchhiking ghosts. Such a beautiful pin. And the way that this is designed, it kind of makes me wonder if it glows in the dark. I, I might be making that up, but just look how detailed and amazing. And then of course, you've got the cool Haunted Mansion on the backer card. And I couldn't help myself, I grabbed another Haunted Mansion themed uh, Disneyland D pin. This one features Madame Leota and the seance scene, and there's so many cool details on this. And the reason I love this one so much is that it had all of the musical instruments floating in the air. And since my family is so musical, I thought this was perfect. My mom actually plays the harp, so I love that the harp is featured so prominently on this one. Beautiful pin. The next one I'll show you might actually be my favorite of the ones I purchased. This is a Flight to Neverland themed Disneyland D. So you've got the second star to the right up here. You've got the clouds. You've got the Big Ben clock. I love the Peter Pan Big Ben scene when they all kind of fly in front of the face of Big Ben. Down here you've got Neverland and it's just a gorgeous pin. I'm on my kind of Peter Pan Neverland kick right now and this pin was perfect. And then you've got the clock again in the back of the backer card and, and Neverland down below. It's just, ugh, I'm just like so impressed by these. And last but not least, we have an Up themed pin. This one says Adventure is out there and you've got the house from Up with all the balloons attached and I love that Doug and Kevin are uh, down on the corners of the backer card. It's so cute. Big fan of Up. Um, reminds me of Valentine's Day because Up reminds me of my, my sweetie. So this might be making its way onto my Valentine's Day pin board. I'm truly so impressed with the size and the detail and the quality of those fantasy pins. I will definitely be stalking her website and her Instagram uh, for more designs. It kind of seems like she's always coming out with new designs. So I have to like tell myself that I don't have to keep up because <laughs> otherwise I'll just go crazy and, and buy all the D's, um, but they're really, really cool. And she has other pins, not just the Disneyland D and she's got other stuff as well. So go check out her stuff. Like what a great artist and like just super cool designs. Oh, and she threw in this little um, gingerbread uh, Mickey and Minnie button as like a little extra. So that was really cool too. Um, so I'll link to all of her stuff down below. I don't know her, but if, if you end up watching this, Alicia, like awesome job. And um, I will be a returning customer for sure. Okay, the final small shop I want to talk about today is a small shop that I have talked about many times. It is arguably my favorite ear shop ever, and that is Magic Mouse Ears. So many of my favorite pairs of ears are by Magic Mouse Ears, and I actually don't have like a brand new pair of ears to show you. What I do have is several ear accessories that attach to my, um, my pair of interchangeable ears. So in my last Disney small shop haul, I shared that I had purchased this pair of interchangeable ears from Magic Mouse Ears. She doesn't only sell interchangeable ears, but this is kind of one of the cool things that she does. So this is like the base pair of ears. And then there's all kinds of different accessory packs that you can purchase to go on. So you could basically go down to the parks with one pair of ears, but like, eight different accessory packs, and then you could have like eight pairs of ears in one. So let me quickly show you my latest accessory purchases for my interchangeable Magic Mouse ears. The first ones I grabbed were these Valentine's Day accessories. So the center bow is like super mega Valentine's-y. It's got like a little doily and then the red sequins and then the center you've got uh, red and white and red again and glitter hearts. It's like over the top Valentine's-y. And then Minnie has her own little Velcro bow that's red with a little white doily inside. 
and they look like this from far away. The next accessory pack I purchased is for the Epcot Festival of the Arts, which is happening down in Walt Disney World right now. So you've got in the middle a paint splattered bow, and Minnie Mouse is wearing a very artsy beret that is uh, glittery and blue with her little um, daisy on the side. So that's super cute. And they look like this from far away. And the final accessory pack I chose was for Rock the Dots. So we've got a blue polka dot bow. She also had a set in red, but I thought the, the blue was kind of unique. And then there's like this little lacy um, detail on the outside edges of the bow. And then Minnie, of course, has her own blue polka dotted bow. And they look like this from far away. Super, super cute. I will leave a link to the Magic Mouse Ears website and Instagram down below. Her ears are pretty hard to get a hold of. You kind of have to stalk her, her stuff. I've told you this before. But um, she has amazing pairs of ears, and I'm really into these accessories now that, I have, um, now that I have my interchangeable ears. So I'm mostly stalking for more accessory packs now because uh, last time I was in the parks uh, in January, I basically just brought this and then like all my accessory packs, and I, and I pretty much had a different pair of ears for every day, but it took only like this much space in my suitcase, so these are super awesome. Oh, and before I forget, I do have one more thing from Magic Mouse Ears, but it's not a pair of ears, it's actually a pin. It's a pin in uh, ear form. She has occasionally released some little ear band pins based on some of her designs, and she happened to have a couple of the Tinkerbell ears left over on her website, so I purchased um, a pin from her as well because now I'm on my Tinkerbell thing and um, I've got a little collection of Tinkerbell pins that is growing and I got my first pair of Tinkerbell ears and I just had to have this little pin. There's two pin posts on the back, some nice glitter embellishments and detail and just a super cute little pin. So these might still be in stock, not totally sure, but go check out her website. These are significantly easier to get a hold of than her actual ears are. And that is everything for today's Disney Small Shop Haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found a shop that you're interested in or something that you'd like to check out. As always, I will leave links to everything down below. All the shops, their websites, their Instagrams. If I have a code, I'll leave the codes. Go check them out and support small businesses and support creative people doing creative things. I just think it's, I think it's a wonderful community and I'm happy to sort of be a part of it in my own weird way by, by buying things and showing them on the internet. That's what I do. I, I buy things and I show them on the internet. That's my life. Isn't that strange? I'm kidding. That's not the only thing I do in my life. Uh, but do leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing or things were from this video. Also, if there are some small shops you think I should check out, please feel free to link them down below and I will, I will go check them out. Also, just a real quick comment that I paid for everything in this video with my own money, so none of it's sponsored or, or gifted or partnered or anything like that. When people send me stuff for free, I will usually state that at the beginning of a video or I'll put it into my magic mail video. But everything I showed here today I paid for with my own money and I think it's really good stuff so I want to put that out there I, I only share things that I love on this channel all right on that note I'm gonna wrap up thank you so much for watching I'll be back with more Disney related videos very soon happy February have a magical day and I'll see you real soon guys bye Mwah!